We know The Lost Crown isn't exactly the game that us Prince of Persia fans have been chomping at the bit for. Where's that Sands of Time remake? I mean, it looked kind of bad, so it got inevitably delayed. Where's our new big 3D platformer that was the precursor to the Assassin's Creed? I don't know, but we have The Lost Crown and us fans, we should be happy. Take it or leave it. I mean, it's all there is, so. Well, that's what we're here to discuss. Should we take it? Or should oh. we leave it? That is the question we're gonna answer in today's video. So the demo that we played for this game was 15 minutes going throughout one level. So there wasn't like a whole bunch of variety, but we did still get to see a lot of stuff in this one level, like a bunch of different abilities, lots of different interactive spaces, and we got to kind of see what we can expect from the full game when it comes out. It was seemingly the first level, mm -hmm. but we discussed it and we have a feeling that they gave us a few extra abilities, put a little Mm -hmm. some something else in just to fluff out the experience spice of this up demo. the gameplay you know because like if it's the first level you've got no abilities in this sort of game right so they wanted to give you some things to play with but they wouldn't have wanted to spoil all of them so nobody wants to play through a tutorial no in a 15 minute demo if you've only got 15 minutes you're gonna cut to the chase and the chase i have to say was pretty damn chef's kiss it was really good. So when we first started playing through the level, there wasn't really any Metroidvania aspects or hints yet. It seemed like an action platformer. It did, but then the further you went on, it became abundantly clear that it's definitely a Metroidvania. So there's definitely gonna be places that you return to once you get new abilities, and then you can further explore areas that you can't access when you first reach them, for example. And going along with that, I guess Metroidvanias are action platformers. So you've got action and you've got platforming. Yeah. Platforming, super satisfying, mm -hmm. super responsive. The action. Super satisfying, super responsive. I love the combat in this. Yeah, I me think too. it's super fun. You've got a long ranged arrow. At least that's the one long range weapon we had. Mm -hmm. And obviously your sword. Yeah. So both of those things combined I guess it's nothing groundbreaking. No, but it's enjoyable. It doesn't need to be. Mm. It's a Metroidvania, you know? Yeah, and you can attack from like any direction. So you can go this way, this way, up as well, up attack. So yes. that was super handy throughout. So on the topic of platforming, we did have some abilities that we got to discover, probably ones that, yeah, you don't start with, but the ones that we got to experience were like dashing and wall jump, and you could combine those. So you could wall jump and then dash over here, which I found was really satisfying as well. Mm -hmm. It makes just a single jump, like something in Mario seem kind of outdated a little bit, doesn't it? Right, we need mm. some dash jumps. Yeah, it's where the action platforming really comes into mm. it, because it does feel like you're like gunning through this level. Mm. It's got that parkour element, you know. Parkour! It... <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> there. Thank you. Parkour! <laughs> you know, in the old PlayStation 2 titles, The Prince of Persia, like what is famous for parkour elements, mm -hmm. you really can feel them here. Mm -hmm. And I think fans of the franchise are really going to like that. Yeah, there's something just satisfying about wall jumping. And there was one other ability that really stuck out to me, the teleporting. So you can almost like bookmark a moment in time and then you can go about your other business, go over here, take this person, go over there, do that. And then you can press a button and appear back where you were before. So it's almost like a checkpoint or something mm -hmm. in a way. So I would be really interested to see like how long does it last for? Is it only a temporary thing? With 15 minutes, it's kind of hard to see, but yes. could you potentially like take a snapshot at the start of the game and then like return to it at the end? Is it like an eternal one or is it just a short term? No, because you're gonna need the ability to progress through the game. Yeah, but just hypothetically. Yeah, I don't see why not. Mm. I guess also tying into the Metroidvania element, you also have little world puzzles. That yeah. You had to solve. Mm -hmm. So mainly with the bow and arrow and you would shoot something, teleport over here, which would activate the blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But it just made the world seem that much more full 
it was very interactive the yes. way that you engaged with the world made it feel alive didn't it yeah it did the world isn't just this stagnant boring background it really feels yeah. like you're helping to create it or interact with it. Mm -hmm. So we did actually play this game on a Switch, yep. in handheld, which is where we'll buy it and likely spend most of our time with it in yeah. handheld mode. Mm -hmm. And this thing runs flawlessly. Yeah. There was no frame rate drops, no skipping, no lagging, no pop-in. Mm. I know it's just a 2D platformer, but still it's worth noting. Yeah. I don't see there being any drawbacks to the Switch version in comparison to the PS5. No. Yeah. No way. If it worked that well on the Switch version, then I would put big monies on the fact that it's going to work flawlessly on the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. The only thing I will note is that there was a slight loading time, like a second, between some screens that I think might just be seamless on more powerful hardware. Yeah. That's really it to know. Mm. And I guess while we're talking about like performance and how the game looks and stuff, it is really pretty. Yeah. I enjoy is. the art style of this a lot. Yeah, we only got to see one level in one area pretty much, but it was a really beautiful area for sure. 100%. Vibrant like blues with the arrow and things, it was very nice. Who is the Lost Crown even for? If fans of Prince of Persia want a remake of Sands of Time or a new 3D action platformer, then why are they giving us this? Well, I mean, for starters, like, I, I want it. Do you want it? Yeah. I mean, 2D Metroidvanias, yes, and the Switch is the perfect system for those type of games as well. Then there's the argument of this is gonna be a full price or close to full price game, especially when you compare it to something like Ori or Hollow Knight. Mm -hmm. That argument comes up every time. It came up with Metroid Dread. A AAA studio has so much more money. And honestly, that shows here. Just yeah. in the 15 minutes we've played, yeah. it's super polished. It's also a really good way to judge interest in a franchise, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's true. It's a low risk way of seeing if they should invest in a brand new Exactly, game. exactly. And who knows, if this sells well, maybe we will get what you're really pining for afterwards. But don't go boycotting it because you wanted the big 3D adventure because then they're just going to think, oh, nobody wants it because nobody's buying this one. So nobody's interested in the franchise anymore. So just give it a go, pretty much, I guess is what we're trying to say because it was really fun from what we played of it. It is hard to judge a game based on one 15 minute demo. Sonic six stars. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but from what we played of this game, it was a lot of fun. It ran really well. It looked really good. Honestly, 10 fun. out of 10 experience for me. We will be reviewing this game. So if you would like to see that review, maybe you should hit that subscribe button down there. Maybe you can like the video while you're at it. That really helps us out a ton. Or dislike it. Yeah, if you don't like us, that's fine. Yeah, go on. I mean, yeah, go on. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you're keen for Prince of Persia mm -hmm. or if you just want that 3D one. But please buy this regardless because I also want a 3D one. Mm -hmm. It's just nothing can happen if we don't get this one. You exactly. Know? Give it a chance. Just give it a chance. All we are saying is give Prince of Persia the Lost Crown a chance. All we are saying is give Prince of Persia the Lost Crown a chance. Your turn. <laughs> you. <laughs> Sorry, I freaked out. <laughs>